what's up my name is Sonali and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my summer favorites every time I film one of these videos I tell myself like okay let's start filming them every month like let's do it consistently but then somehow I just make an excuse not to do it so I decided to just pull all of my summer favorites since it is the end of July and I literally only have like a week of summer left before I go back um, early for recruitment and Camp KD, which I'm really excited about, but I'm also so sad that summer's over and that I have to leave Georgia once again. But the summer has been filled with trying new products and getting new clothes. So I actually have some fashion pieces to show you guys. So let's get started. So if you guys have been watching my videos for a while now, then you know that all my videos are just a little bit scattered, like they're just all over the place, and this video will be no different. I just have like a big bag of my favorites, so I'm just gonna pull them out and kind of do like a show and tell, I guess. <laughs> so the first product I have here is the Fenty Lip Gloss. I'm pretty sure they do have more colors than just this neutral one, but I actually got this a while ago, and I didn't really like consistently use it just because I had other glosses, and I really just only got it because it was Fenty, and it was just like the new trend to get. So I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get it because it's so cute and like everyone has it. But now I actually use it on top of like any lip color that I'm wearing. I am obsessed with just putting a little bit in the middle or even all over my lips. It just depends on if I want like a super glossy look or just like a moisturized look. So I've been using this pretty much every day this summer. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. Like it stays on your lips for a pretty long time, but you do end up having to reapply, especially if you're like talking a lot or like eating but I mean, that's like every lip gloss, so. So if you guys have been watching my summer vlogs, then you would know that I just went to Italy in May. It feels like I just went there yesterday and the summer has gone by way too fast, but when I was there, I picked up these cute platform shoes. I've been on the hunt for like an espadrille looking shoe and I finally found them in Italy and they were such a good price. I think they were like 25 euros, so maybe like $30 at the max. And they are so comfy because they have like a squishy material like over here. And I don't know, I just love these. It makes it so easy to look more dressed up while you're still being comfortable because any platform shoe is gonna be way more comfortable than like a wedge or a heel. So I'm very excited that I got these and I will definitely be wearing them a lot more during fall. So my next favorite is also a fashion piece and it is my American Eagle boyfriend jeans. You probably can't see it very well from here. So I'm just gonna insert a bunch of pictures with me wearing them. I literally wear these anytime that I have to wear jeans. It used to be that my go-to jeans were my skinny jeans, but now it's definitely these boyfriend jeans. And honestly, when buying them, I didn't think I would even touch them in my closet. But ever since going to college, I found myself not wearing all my jeans and I have such a huge jean collection. I usually just wear leggings and shorts and stuff like that but right when I got these jeans I wore them all the time so I really think these are a great investment I mean I think they were like 40 or maybe 50 but it's only been three months and I definitely got my use out of them already so it looks like we're gonna be moving into beauty products so the first one I wanted to share with you guys is this contour palette from pure cosmetics it is called the contour diaries and it has all these colors so it has just like the contour side and the highlight side and usually my go-to colors are dream for highlighting and then i will always use passion which is like kind of like a reddish brown but it suits my skin color amazingly and then i'll actually use secret for my nose contour since it's a little bit of cooler tone i really like this palette because it's kind of like petite and it's easy to just carry around in your makeup bag especially because I'm like bouncing around this whole summer. So it honestly feels like I talk about this product in every single video I have made this summer. But my next favorite is the Soap & Glory Speed Plump All Day Super Moisture Marvel. And like I said in previous videos, I got this because one of my sorority sisters was a brand ambassador for Soap & Glory. So towards the end of the year, they had this big blowout event um, getting rid of all their products. Towards the end of the year, she had so much more free product to give out. So she literally just told us grab anything we wanted. And I saw this and she kind of explained it to me as like a very moisturizing moisturizer. But basically, it's just the best moisturizer in the world. It keeps the moisture locked in. It's not too heavy. But I will say that it might be a little bit oily if you are already oily. I'm definitely dry skinned, so this is perfect for me. This summer I got a super crazy tan and I actually like love it for once. Like usually I don't love getting super tan, but I'm definitely embracing it this summer. 
Um, but the one thing that is bad that came out of it is that I actually had to go and get a new foundation because I honestly thought I had like a backup like darker foundation but even that was just too light so I had to get a new foundation. So I decided to try out the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I already had the Pro Matte but it just wasn't the right color. Um, so yeah, I got this one first and I loved it but then I thought like eh, it's summer right now, I'm sweating too much, I feel a little bit greasy so maybe I should just pick up another pro mat and you know my color so that's what I did and right now I'm using the pro mat on my face today but literally up until like three days ago I've been using the pro glow for a good chunk of summer these two foundations are amazing 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 like I cannot say enough good things about these these honestly might be comparable to some of the foundations at Sephora that I've tried out like these actually wow me, but some of the foundations at Sephora just don't really do it for me. Like I don't see that crazy of a difference to be spending that much money. This summer I have definitely realized the importance of setting spray and I do love my Max Fix Plus, but this is a new product I've been trying out. It's the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And if you guys watched my Sephora VIB sale haul, you would know that I got the Tatcha um, dewy skin mist and honestly guys I didn't really see a difference like it just like sprayed me and it didn't even spray me that much but this I see more of a difference from so if you guys are interested in that product I definitely would say this is a dupe or even better than that product the next one is a brow product it is the Bravo conditioning primer and I use this every day to set my brows because this really holds them in like at first I actually used it for um, growing out my eyebrows. I heard that it was a really great serum for that. I'm not sure if like I see a difference um, in my eyebrow growth from using this, but I definitely love it for just setting my brows. It's probably the best brow gel I've ever used because even just the Gimme Brow by Benefit doesn't really do much. It's just like a tinted little brow gel, but it doesn't make your brows stay in place. And my brows got a mind of its own. They like literally go so many different ways. So it's very important that I use this every single day. The next product is a nail polish. I have been obsessed with OPI's Infinite Shine Collection. I know they're a little bit expensive, but sometimes I'd rather just splurge on a nail polish and do my nails myself. But this is the OPI Infinite Shine, and this is in the color Sun, Sea, and Sand in My Pants. Yellow is definitely the color of this summer, and I actually saw a yellow nail polish in J. Crew, and I was like, oh my god, Ryan, should I get it? And he was like, no, what the heck, like $12 or $13 for a nail polish? Like, heck no. So I left it alone and then walked away, and then every time I went back into J. Crew, I could never find that stinking nail polish, and I wanted it so bad because the color was like beautiful. But then I found this. I'm not sure if the colors were that similar, but I'm pretty sure this was a brighter yellow, um, and I just decided to get it. Even though this was also $12 or $13, but I definitely say that my brand loyalty to OPI has grown in the past year. So the last product I have for my summer favorites are these Olay Facial Wipes. These are amazing, and I'm sorry for like the look of this because that's definitely not cute, but for some reason I always pick up like the refill packets and not the actual like container of them. So when you open up the package, you will see that they're dry cloths. You have to wet them and then they'll get soapy and you can lather it on. And these little cloths take your makeup off so amazingly. Honestly, I thought these were just makeup wipes. So I thought they came wet with like solution in them, but they're actually just dry cloths. And so you get them wet and then they like lather up on your face when you're taking off your makeup. And honestly, at first I was like, okay, like I don't want these because I wanted makeup wipes to have on my bedside when I'm lazy to actually like wash my face. And this definitely doesn't help that problem. But I found that this is such a great thing because makeup wipes don't really get everything off your face. And this kind of just forces me to wash my face and actually get all that excess makeup off. You will be amazed how much makeup it gets off your face. So yes, they might not be the most convenient thing, but in the long run, like your face is going to be so much cleaner than just using a regular makeup wipe. So guys, that is my summer favorites. I will have all the links to the products I mentioned in the description below, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys! Hi.